god! That is crazy. He's in awe right now. That's Christian inside there. Yeah, yeah, that's Christian. Oh. Only one with the red interior. So I guess so. One of one. I'll be, I don't know if you can see. Carbon still lines up not as perfectly as on the wire. Huh? But still pretty darn good. 365 tires. And all these Veyrons. All these Veyrons have 365s. It's just unbelievable. Dude technical specs behind all these. Here's my boy Jack. His vlog. Yeah. Hell yeah. This is my favorite one by far. You're, this is your favorite one? Oh, I didn't notice the carbon hood. I know. Yeah, that lines up very nicely as well. This is my first time ever seeing an F50. Wow, is it incredible. Definitely nowhere near as technologically advanced as, let's say, the Wira. But for the 90s, it was just something to behold. Get a manual, carbon fiber, racing seats. Not that it'll show on camera, but you can see the carbon fiber through the paint. That's how thin the paint is. Be right into the engine. That's another thing I like about this car is so many car makers these days, they just cover up the engine. And this one's just so exciting. Okay, here too. Oh my goodness. You know what that is? That's unideal. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. 500 grand still. Unless the crash just happened. I don't know. I and mean, it goes all the way down here too. It still scratches here. It goes all the way down to here. Look at this. It goes all the way down to the rear end. It continues. There's some there. Oh, no, On this side too. Look at that. Over here? Oh yeah. That's not that's How not do you even do it? Oh no. okay. Yeah, what happened to Every this single fender, really including the wheel. I swear it looked like this thing just like went through a forest or something. <laughs> How does it get body damage? I mean that go car could back into it, it wouldn't make a difference. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, those paddles are so nice. Yeah, it is pretty heavy. Seats are comfortable too. Very comfortable seats. Right, Visibility is very good. You gotta, you gotta put the front end lift down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where's the front end lift button? I'm sure there's some button. I just can't even oh, find really? it. I mean, that's the trunk. That's the lock, which I don't want to do. On today's episode, we're going to figure out how to work a 720 out. Okay, how do you open the door? Uh, hang on, hang on. I'll buy you dinner if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> From the inside. Hang on. Oh, okay. I got it! Oh, the little window comes up a little bit. Very, very You can carefully. properly get out of the vehicle. You got to do it in style. Oh, yeah. Almost. <laughs> sort of. That did not close. Oops. Yeah, right. Check this out. Huracan Super Trofeo. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. We got the slider doors. I don't know these were. Oh, and the door's super light. I'm just pushing it with my pinky. You can just move it like that. 
But the paddles are the best part for me. Literally a video game. Apparently there's no key, you just you need to know how to start it. Yeah. Oh, which I do not know how to start. I, I doubt it's just that. It's probably like a couple buttons on here. And it's getting really hot in here too. It smells like it smells like race gas in here. Squad of course. I love how you just pull on that to close it. I'm debating if I should believe that badging right there. The mini ricers put turbo on their civics, but I'm not sure if I should be doubting this. Because this is just a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> The interior car. is fully white. True. I think right here you can get the color. Just in this little bit of light here. It's, yeah, this color. It's very dusty, but unbelievable color. Then the interior too. All white. Dude. We found the center. Oh shoot. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was the ultimate spot right there. I would have not seen that. Oh, that is an Senna. <laughs> P1LM. Piecing it together. Take that. Oh, I'm exhausted. 